Hey, it's Sherry, and this is the tech rehearsal, which means I'm in the room with the killer. Someone in this room murdered my laptop. Someone cunning. Someone cold-blooded. Someone utterly ruthless. OK, well, we're dealing with a master of disguise here. There you are. Oh, hey, Isla. I've got a camera covering the stage, but you can get some backstage shots while I do the sound check. Oh, I told you, he's the one who suggested you film here. He's not angry with you anymore, he's just sad. OK, so document a hard-working band they set up for a major gig. Thanks, Isla. No worries. Anything's better than you doing this again. I don't look like that. Not as long as you don't dance. Then maybe I should take off the dance costume? No, Sherry, it looks great. Anyway, break a leg. Not really. That's just a thing we showbiz people say. <laughs> no dancing. Great. First I lose my Dixie page, then my laptop, and now my pride. <laughs> nice. Fantasia Hippo look is so you. Yeah, well, nice hair. Oh, she does have nice hair. Why didn't I just join the prom committee back when Mimi asked me? Because you said you had better things to do than an extreme makeover on the school hall. Did I really say that? Shows what I know. Speaking of me being stupid, about yesterday, about me going off on one when I thought that you would... But I don't think that anymore. Prom's tomorrow, so if you want, I could still bring the snacks and my sunny eyes. Sunshine eyes. Right. So, how did that song go again, just out of interest? You'll have to wait. Maybe I'll play it for you tomorrow. Are you ready to turn that into a video of us? Yeah, of course. But my camera lets me spy on all my prime suspects at the same time. It could be anyone in this room. Except you, of course. <laughs> well, yeah. It's not like I know how to hack Stixie. We well, you, you, you have skills to do that. Eve? Oh, yeah. Eve could totally do that. No, that's not what... Of course it's not Eve. I mean, what's she doing here? Eve's not even on the prom committee. Uh, yes, she is. Um, no, Eve thinks this whole prom stuff is super lame, Mimi. Oh, really? So why has she spent the last two weekends helping murder with lights? <laughs> She's been on the committee for, like, weeks. The last two weekends? But Eve told me she was at her dad's. She said her phone died. She couldn't have. It can't be Eve. Can it? Morning, it's Shari. And as you may have gathered, I'm not getting ready for school right now. Six missed calls from Eve. So, thanks to everyone who tried to help me decide about Eve, turns out you're worried it might be her too. But she can't have done it, can she? She's been with me through all of this. She's the one person I tell everything, always has been. I keep thinking back to every time we've talked over the last few weeks and wondering if all that time she was hiding something from me. It makes me feel sick and sad. And it makes me feel like I don't know anyone. How could she do this? It just can't be her. It's ridiculous to even say it. But there is so much evidence against her. Number one, she's the best techie I know, so she'd know how to hack Dixie. Number two, she knows what trout pout means. Number three, she's off the grid. She barely goes on Dixie, which is the ultimate cover. And number four, she lied about being away at her dad's when she was actually working on the prom committee with Murdo. Maybe she likes Murdo. But still, why wouldn't she tell me if she was on the committee? Oh, it's just so horrible having all these thoughts about my best friend. We braved the Roaring Rapids at Waterland together with a sports day's unbeaten three-legged egg race champions. And no one even comes close to our Halloween costumes. Oh, I can't stand it anymore. I have to find out if Eve did this. The thing is... Sherry, it's 20 to 8. I have no idea how. Sherry, you'll be late. Sherry? Sweetheart, you all right? Eve just called on the house phone. Said she hasn't heard from you since yesterday afternoon. 
Everything okay? I don't want to go to school today. It's prom tonight. I don't want to go. Darling, if you and Eve have had a fight, I'm sure all you need to do is talk to one another. We've been best friends since you were little. I promise, whatever it is, by tomorrow, you'll be laughing about it together. <laughs> what? What's wrong? <laughs> You know, you feel a bit hot. Maybe have a sleep this morning, we'll see how you feel this afternoon. I'll call school and tell you you might come in later. OK. You've got to be better for prom. I've been looking forward to it for ages. And I've on the net, looking for hairdo videos. I think we can make you look really glam. Thanks, Mum. I'm sure I'll feel better later. Good girl. And get you a nice drink. Apple juice and lemonade, with strawberry sauce on top. Yes, please. I do feel awful, you know. I wasn't lying. I feel worse than I've ever felt, ever. Worse than when I swallowed six bugs getting my Brownies Wildlife Explorer badge. And Mum's right. I need to speak to Eve. I'm not going to run around going undercover or anything. I'm just going to ask her. Simple as that. After school. Before prom. Hey, it's Shari and this is Getting Ready for Prom. I'm feeling a bit better. A bit. And I'm going to go and speak to Eve straight Shari, up... Shari, stop moving your head! Sorry. Straight after my mum's finished my hair and I found my shoes. It's all a bit hectic here. Mum, where's my tie? Hang up on your chair on Tuesday. Wait, I remember. It's in the garden. What? Why, Sid? Why? Oh, Sherry, keep still! Sorry. It's been really weird not talking to Eve all day. She's texted me a lot. There's all this evidence against her, but I need to talk to her face to face. Oh, she's texted again. Oh, Mum, what's the time? Not a while. Yeah, but I need to go to Eve's before prom. Oh, no, I know. In the video, he said he was a paddle brush. Is that just a normal brush? Or... Found it! Oh, Sherry, Eve just texted me to ask if your phone's out of battery. She's texted you? Yeah, she said she was worried. Oh, Sherry! Oh, but Mum, I need to go right now. Oh. Mum, it looks perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sweetheart. But don't move around too much now, or it might fall down. Oh. Hi, Sherry. Wow, you, you look lovely. Nice hair. Thanks. Well, are you ready? I was going to bring my bike, but then I realised you might be wearing a nice dress, so I freed up some funds to get us a taxi. Um, no, Zane, I can't. Oh, don't worry, I'm paying. No, I mean, I, I can't go to the prom with you in the taxi. I'll have to meet you there. Oh, OK. That's cool. It's just, it's about... The Dixie murders. OK. I know that's important to you. You think it's important? Yeah, it is. Thanks. Well, you've not got long. You better hurry if you want to solve the mystery and get to prom on time. Oh. <laughs> totally just kissed Zane. <laughs> but I'll think about that later. I'm coming, Eve. Whatever happens next, I just have to find out the truth, once and for all. I'm on Eve's road and it takes exactly 18 seconds from here. That's it. That's the final piece of the puzzle. Now I know who did it. Now I know everything. break, but they'll be right back after an emergency meeting. Everyone on the prom committee meet backstage immediately. Sherry. Oh, yeah, you too, Eve. I know you're on the committee. 
What's all this about, Shari? In case you haven't noticed, there's a prom going on in there. I know. And there's also been a series of murders. <gasps> she means of Dixie Pages. That's right. And the killer is in this room. What? At first, I thought it was Chloe just being mean. I'm sorry, but you are. No, it's true. I am. But after Chloe was hacked, Mimi stepped in and did what she always does. Copied her for attention. Mimi admitted everything last week. I'm coming to that. I followed a trail that led from Mimi to New Space to Game of Pones and to my brother's stolen dagger of awesome. Ruby dagger with the cobra handle. Whatever, it was a dead end. But waiting in the shadows was Murdo. Always so keen to help. Was it all just a plot to get a date to the prom? Give it up, Shari. I'm sorry, but I never wanted to go with you. I've got a date. I know. And once you'd flagged my posts as abusive... They were abusive. I got called into Miss Johnson's office. Our internet safety officer, whose job was at risk from cuts. Could she have done all this just to show how important her job is? But her browser history was clean. You checked my browser history? Th never mind about that. But by this point, I'd suspected everyone. Even you, Isla. I mean, was your whole kooky, clueless thing just an act? When? But then I saw that there were two other people who had the opportunity. Zane, I so didn't want it to be you, but there was too much that pointed to you. The CCTV footage, the poster at the print shop, and you were in the computer room when I got that message telling me to back off. And then there's Eve, the last person that I would ever suspect, my best friend. My bestie since reception, since forever. You have been there for me, no matter what. Like a sister, only better. But you lied to me. You weren't at your dad's the other weekend. You were with Murdo working on the tech specs for prom. I'd been all anti-prom, so I thought I'd look stupid if people knew I'd changed my mind. What did change your mind? It was Murdo, wasn't it? You joined the prom committee so you could spend time with him. You friend-zoned him in Year 7, but when you thought he was going to ask me I out... I never wanted to ask you out. You realised that you needed to make your move. Sherry, it's true about me liking Murdo. And yes, I asked him out. But I would never hack your Dixie. I know. We're besties. How could you even suspect me in the first place? <sighs> because I was obsessed. You saw how even after Mimi confessed I couldn't let it go. I thought you were being all like, oh, look at me, as always. Yeah, that's what it was. I just wanted the attention. I can't help it. Not this time. You were covering for someone. After I found out Eve had lied to me, I went to her house. I had to know the truth. But then I saw this. This is the original before someone added my face to it. This is what the killer used to make that horrible poster of me. And there's a name next to the number. And that name no, is... Stop. I'm sorry, Mimi, but everyone has to know the truth. The name on the poster is Lana. You can't just go around accusing my mum. Shari, apologise at once. I am so sorry, Mrs. Hastings. Shari, outside. No. But it's her. She Enough, what? Shari. No, why? That's all I want to know. Why? What have I ever done to you? I, I've never done anything. Haven't you? Mum, don't say anything without a, a lawyer or someone from the student council. You might not have done anything to me, but I saw how you made Mimi feel when you tagged her as Me Too Mimi on Dixie. That was just a joke. It's always a joke when it's someone else. I wanted you to see how it felt. Well, it felt horrible. And not just you. Chloe, too. The way you treat Mimi like she's your pet. She likes it. She can't cope in the wild. No, Chloe, I don't like it. Not really. I just put up with it as a price of being your friend. But then it got out of hand. I hacked Zane because I was worried he'd trace the message I sent asking about hacking. I sent you the virus because I thought you were getting too close. You were acting like you thought you were better than everyone. Better than Mimi. I was angry. It was like being back at school. And if there's one thing I learned there, it's how to put people down. Mom, stop. You can't refight your school battles through me. School's out for you. This is my life. 
I'm sorry. You'd better come with me, Mrs Hastings. I think we need to have a little chat. So, what now? I'm not sure. I hadn't really thought past this point. I know what we should do. We should all go in and enjoy the rest of our prom. like that it was all over case closed Sid cleaned off that virus for me so yay laptop lols and Lana did send us all our changed passwords so I can leave this account and go back to my other one and yes I did change my password and my privacy settings speaking of setting things so everything's back to how it was wait not exactly. Sid started dating Chloe, which is kind of weird. Eve and Murdo are finally out of the friend zone. Miss Johnson's job is safe because she's running internet safety and responsibility classes for parents. And her first pupil is Lana. And when people heard it was all Mimi's mum, she really did become the centre of attention for once. But you know what? I'm not saying what Lana did was right, but she did have a point. I was mean to Mimi sometimes. I didn't realise what I posted would hurt her feelings. But we're hanging out tonight with Ina and Eve, and we'll finally have that movie marathon. We're all kind of friends now. Isla's even posted a song about it. And that's everything. Well, Apart from... But that's another page. Oh, that reminds me. I started one of those Dixie things too. Now, how do I upload your baby photos? So I went online today, cos I had some stuff to say. Saw a thread that messed my head, locked off instead and ran away. They said I'm not all that. They said that I'm too far. I'm a waste of space, I'm an ugly face, so thank you trolls for that. Haters, we're sick of you, and your twisted point of view. Your spelling's pretty rubbish too, but still we only wish we knew. Why is it you hate yourself? Why is it you state yourself? Cause the poison that you chat just proves that you don't rate yourself. You say I'm lame, and yes I guess I'll get upset. Just cause it feels like disrespect. Those selfies that you take show a bit more than your face. Sent into cyberspace won't disappear without a trace. When you've learned to respect yourself, learn to protect yourself. Still there for your kids to click, and that ain't gonna go down well. Say you're okay, that you're doing your own thing. 